Occasionally, a gentle soul descends from heaven to our charming little planet. Like a healing drop in the ocean, they tenderly arrive, rippling compassion and inspiration across this glorious little orb of green and blue. With nobility and artistry, humility and loyalty, they channel celestial grace. Coloring our biosphere with their divine endowment, they remind us of the precious God-given beauty on Earth, of peace, of love. Now with admiration and gratitude, Supreme Master Television's tribute show invites you to join us in paying respect to these remarkable individuals who gift our world with their uplifting contributions and presence. And as the shows go on, their past life and present life will be revealed to you, dearest viewers, as a gift from us. Greetings, auspicious viewers. My name is Quoc Tuong. I am from Hanoi, Aulac, also known as Vietnam, joining you with the warmest regards of the graceful Aulac Seas or Vietnamese people. I am Tan Bin from Nha Trang, Âu Lạc, also known as Vietnam. The people of Âu Lạc wish you a blessed day filled with noble inspirations. Welcome to Secret Revelations on Master's Legendary Magician. Over the centuries, Supreme Master Ching Hai has graced our planet in different physical forms, through various incarnations, and has created countless affinities with beings on Earth. Many of them have come back and become her disciples. Among them are beautiful souls who have been very dedicated and loyal to Master and her noble missions throughout many lifetimes. One such special individual was her beloved late disciple, Tai Du Hua. In today's show, we are honored to present the conclusion of our nine-part tribute to Tai Du Hua, revealing his extraordinary latest past life and his pure and true friendship with Supreme Master Ching Hai. Because of his profound love for Master and utter devotion to her and her noble work, Master said, quote, He's now in the highest fifth heaven, Buddha's land." Unquote. A younger brother of famed Olaxis, also known as Vietnamese artist, poet, and writer, Thai Du Hap, Thai Du Hua, was an ordinary man and a loving, faithful husband who humbly worked in his own billboard shop with his wife and son. But he was also the inspiring spirit for the Supreme Master television staff with his supporting encouragement and a huge sense of humor. But nobody knew that Hua was also Master's loyal, good friend of many lifetimes and a former powerful magician. She once said, quote, such a precious, absolute, faithful, and respectful disciple is rare and hard to find. Hua is a great guy, unquote. Even recently, Master confided, quote, I miss him, and I miss our pure and true lasting friendship, unquote.
Indeed, their friendship transcended space and time, and Supreme Master Ching Hai always checked in on Hua, even from afar. When he was ill in his later years, Master often called and inquired about his health, and she sent physicians to help Hua's recovery. During this time, feeling deep sympathy for his plight as well as all other beings on earth, Master wrote a poem for Hua entitled Sok Tung, Heartfelt Sympathy, which she read over the phone to him from afar. On January 14, 2018, Master tearfully shared this private poem with the Supreme Master Television staff. This is a poem for Tai Su Hua. The poem title is Sok Tung. It goes like this. Đường trần lắm nẻo gian nan, ta ơi những bước chớ than thở nào, đi cho thế giới đẹp màu. <cười> I thought I'm over it. Okay, I read again, okay? Yes. <cười> She also wrote a poem for him for his loyal dedication decades ago, but, quote, never told Hua for fear of people's misunderstanding, unquote, as she, quote, could not explain the reason of her expression in the poem for Hua's friendship, unquote. For doing that, Master also, quote, would have to reveal everything about his past lives, unquote, that Master tried to avoid while Hua was still alive. However, in some private moments, Master revealed to some disciples the past life's identity of Hua, but she never mentioned to him, nor did she tell Hua about the poem she made for him. Where are you now, my love? Nguya Dao is the poem Master, quote, wrote over decades ago as a tribute to Hua, touched by his past and present dedication, unquote, when he departed back to his job and family in the United States, after he and some disciples visited her in Taiwan, also known as Formosa, Mountain Retreat, Hao Cha. Người ở đâu rồi? Xa mài xa. Tình thân sao viễn biệt sang bên ni trăng lặng đèn.
quang sang thương phụ lành đến dài viện khách bôn ba ngoài hoàng lộ ta ngồi bạc tóc đêm thu phai chẳng biết vì đâu vẫn thấy buồn nhìn đời như nước chảy mấy thuở chia ly sầm còn nhớ chân người một qua ê thương nhẹ mai về thăm viện có ta ngày sẽ bừng hoa nặng và khúc tình chưa lại giác giao hoa was a quote very fun and endearing guy to be with unquote that everyone who knows him loved him. His sense of humor would make you laugh to your heart's content. For example, one time while Master was meeting disciples, Hua told Master a story kind of funny in a way. Quote, there is a song in Vietnam about a hero pilot during the war whose plane was shot down during battle, and he died. The song is named Huynh Sư Ca Một Người Mang Tân Quốc, Song of a Legend Named Quốc. During Hua's group flight to the United States, there was some strong turbulence and the pilots asked all on board to fasten their seatbelts. One of Hua's group members sitting next to him had headphones on for music and kept singing with it the song about the tragedy of that pilot with his plane crash. The way Hua said it in his central Vietnamese Guang Nam accent and his facial expressions were funny enough without the story we all laughed so hard, unquote. Master commented about the song that though a tragedy, the gifted Vietnamese musician has been able to portray it with so much beauty and elegance, like many other songs she loves in Vietnam. Master loves the song so much that she took time to correct every minute detail of the English translation for this show the best she could to properly honor and convey the picturesque meaning behind the Alexis, also known as Vietnamese, lyrics. On December 20, 2017, while reviewing the translation of the song, the eloquent, poetic verses inspired Master to spontaneously sing it for those around her. With thousands of disciples' visitors being able to listen by a remote loudspeaker, Master apologized for her voice due to her being unwell and circumstance at the time. But those who listened were still enchanted by the heart and soul in Master's voice, as well as the beauty of the song. Hello, good morning, Taiwan. Here's Radio Qinghai greeting you with love. Everybody okay? Yeah. Mm, this is for the Vietnamese people only, yeah? I don't know if you have translation. It's very difficult to translate. Cái bài này cho mấy đồng chí Việt Nam thôi, okay? Mm. I was translating the script and there I came upon the song named Huyền Sử Ca, Một Người Mang Tên Quốc. I love the song so much, I keep singing by myself. So I think maybe you would also like to hear, even though my voice is not very good today due to the cold. But the guys here, they clap a lot, so maybe you also like it. <laughs> you want me to sing for you, yes or no? Yes. <laughs> Hello, here come. You are listening to Radio Qinghai, and here comes the song. This song is 
describing uh, the legend of a pilot during the war that he his airplane crashed and died, but they made it so elegant and beautiful that I love the song so much. It's made by the great, gifted, late musician Pham Yi. Okay, applause for him. Yeah, big applause for Pham Yi. Yeah. He's on high heaven. Okay, now I'm singing for you because I don't want to go out in the hall, okay? I'm having some job to do here, but I come upon these songs, I thought maybe you would like to hear my voice. Today is a little bit stuffy, but never mind. It's free anyway, okay? <laughs> no money, no ticket. Ngày xưa khi anh vừa khóc chào đời Mẹ yêu theo gương người trước tròn lời Đặt tên cho anh, anh là cuộc Đặt tên cho anh, anh là nước Đặt tên cho người, đặt tên yêu nước vào nỗi Rồi anh nâng cao tổ quốc vào đời Tuổi xanh vươn trong lửa máu một trời Việt Nam đang sôi sôi lòng nước Việt Nam đang sôi sôi lòng quốc Việt Nam đang đòi tự do hạnh phúc rong nổi Anh quốc ơi tuổi xuân như đóa hoa đời nở trong mưa bao tơi vơi vẫn còn tươi như nước Việt ơi anh quốc ơi đàn chim chim quốc tung chơi gọi nhau đêm nắng soi đời có người vui nghĩ chuyện lâu dài rồi anh trôi theo vần nước miệt mài Việt Nam chia đôi mảnh đất lạc loài Toàn dân thương đau, đau lòng nước Toàn dân thương đau, đau lòng quốc Toàn dân ngậm ngùi vì tình sống đôi lẻ nói Rồi anh nghe theo lời nói bồi hồi Trời xanh bao la mở cánh cửa mời từ anh lên cao anh là nắng là trắng hay sao anh nhìn xuống nhìn nước ngon nhà đẹp xinh như gấm như hoa anh quốc ơi rồi anh chắp cánh thanh thang bình minh lên chiếm không gian đến hoàng hôn chăn chứa tình thương anh quốc ơi gặp khi chinh chiến lâu dài người phi công giữa cung trời vẫn phải mang số phận con người sinh ra ta ta là cát đời đưa ta đi ta về đất và anh đã về một chiều anh đã về quê chiều nào anh đi làm kiếp người hùng chiều nào thương ôi dụng cánh đại bàng chiều nào anh đi anh về đất chiều nào anh đi anh về nước chiều nào huy hoàng bụi vàng bay khắp không gian anh quốc ơi từ nay trong gió xa khơi 
từ nay trên cánh mây trôi có hồn anh trong cõi lòng tôi anh quốc ơi nhìn thu anh nhớ đến tôi thì xin cho thái dương soi nước việt nam sáng gói muôn đời nước việt nam người xa Thank you. <laughs> sorry, the cough is not included. <laughs> I'm sorry, just half of the man I used to be. <laughs> Good night, Taiwan. Thank you, all of you. Love you very much, even though my concert didn't earn me anything. But I'm sure you love me a lot. Thank you for that. The song of a legend named Guok was composed by the late great musician Pham Zui as a tribute to Alexis, also known as Vietnamese, pilot Pham Phu Guok, whose love for his country as well as his heroic accomplishments and eventually his tragic end at a beautiful young age has left a nation to grieve and bemoan him. After singing, Master shared her translations of the verses so that those who did not understand the language could appreciate the meaning and beauty of the song. Hello again, this is Radio Qinghai, late night show, free of charge, full of love. Sorry about my voice before when I tried to sing that song. I just sing it for the love of the Vietnamese who uh, stay here and meditate. They came to see me, so I sang it for you. Sorry about my voice because I already been talking in the daytime and then talk to you and then uh, yell at the dog. <laughs> that he pee in the wrong place. <laughs> and then uh, the peanuts doesn't help my voice. They, they picked me only peanuts here, you know that? If you don't believe I bring the peanuts into the hall and show it to you. Uh, so my voice, it doesn't get any better than that. I give you the translation of this song. It's made by Pham Yui, I told you already, and it's a very nice or elegant and so beautiful, even though it's a kind of a tragic story, but it's so beautiful, so I couldn't help it. Therefore, I keep singing that several times before I sing to you already, and I couldn't imagine I sing to you, I just sing to myself because the song's so nice and I'm correcting the translation. And then I just love it, so I keep singing it. And then I thought of the Vietnamese outside, you know, of you, if you could listen to my <laughs> peanut voice singing, <laughs> even then you would have loved it, so I sing it to you. And now they threaten to make it public later, I don't know if anybody would like to listen to my very coarse voice. I translate to you now. Long ago, his first cries greeted the world, his loving mother followed the ancestors' naming tradition. She gave him a meaningful name. Uh, that is a tradition, I explained it, because in Vietnam, if we give somebody a name, it always have a meaning, mostly like that. His name is Quoc. She gave him a meaningful name, named him Quoc. Gave him a meaningful name, named him as country. Quoc mean country in Vietnamese. Gave him his name, placing patriotism in his crib. I prefer credo though, and we will change that, okay. Then he glorifies the love for the motherland. Though his youth rose in the midst of conflict, turmoil. Turmoil, mean the war, huh? Vietnam is boiling, boiling in the country's heart. Vietnam is boiling, boiling in Quoc's heart. Vietnam is demanding freedom, happiness for her people. Oh, Brother Quoc, your youth was like a spring flower of life, blossoming amidst the pouring storm, but still fresh at the marvel Vietnam. Oh, Brother Quoc, like the Quoc birds, you soar into the sky, calling out to bring sunshine to the world.
and someone special happily envision the lifelong jubilating future that you help the sun to shine on Vietnam forever. Let Vietnam glow brilliantly forever. That's it. Thank you for listening. Here again, greeting to you from Radio Qinghai number one. There's no number two, sorry. Good night. Love you so much. God bless you. Thank you, Master, for sharing with all of us the beautiful meaning behind the lyrics of Song of a Legend named Guk, and may we all appreciate the wonderful heritage of the Olac Seas, also known as Vietnamese culture. Master once said, quote, Tai Tu Hoa's love for his country, Vietnam, was incurable and phenomenal. Thus, anything that revolved around Vietnam and Vietnamese culture was as important as his life." Unquote. For example, he thought Master is for Vietnam alone, so he never mentioned or thought of sharing with any other country about her work, etc. Quote, not that he was narrow-minded, he just was too focused on Vietnam and anything related to her. Unquote. So much so, that Master had to remind him on several occasions that Vietnam is part of the global community and not the only country. Quote, but that's why anything he loved, he gave all his heart and loyalty to it. Unquote. Tai Tu Hua's devotion to Supreme Master was not only in this life, but continued over many lifetimes. As revealed by the Supreme Master Ching Hai, Tai Tu Hua had also proved his outstanding loyalty to Master in his latest past life when he was a powerful magician. Master was a prince and later the king, while Hua was her servant and quiet protector named Medrin, using his magical skills, though forbidden at the time, secretly to help the kingdom and save the prince king's and the prince king's father's lives many times. It so happened, even in this lifetime, whatever Hua said came true. Luckily, Hua is loving, gentle, and kind, so his enemies are none. If there is any grudge, it's only fleeting and temporary. He forgives ever so easily as well, but just better not touch his master than all is well. He'd even bless you. But on some occasions, if someone doubted, disrespected, or slandered his beloved master, Though he said in the name of Master's heavenly guards, his magic was still effective. Thus, the persons concerned got whatever he or she deserved, either good or in some cases, not so favorable, though temporary. Master got the blame, of course. Quote, though not intentionally using magic, Hua had to suffer grave illness the last year of his life for that, Master said. That's why Master did not reveal Hua's past identity. Quote, fearing it might invoke more of his magical memories and power, which would not be good for him." Unquote. There is a television series about Hua's latest past life as Medrin, named Merlin, which Master said is, quote, 47% true to the actual events, unquote. Because the kingdom that Master once ruled, quote, did not have as many tragedies as in the series, and the prince was a true gentleman, even more kind and compassionate than depicted that even the invisible beings at that time wanted him to be king." Unquote. 
The prince was also a meditator in search of the Holy Grail. But Merlin, actual name Medrin, was real and incredibly powerful. Although the manifestation of magic which was portrayed in the series is not so obviously visible to most normal mortals. You seem surprised. Hardly. I know what you're capable of. Oh, you have no idea. Some of the other personages involved, friends and foes, quote, also reincarnated and are still alive today. Some have become Master's disciples, unquote. To a few disciples, Master disclosed who from that period are playing what roles now in the present life. Master occasionally treats the Supreme Master television staff to viewing some of the Merlin TV series where everyone can relax and watch the entertainment while snacking on vegan goodies that Master lovingly shares with the staff. Master also reveals some secrets, insights, and interesting playful anecdotes as everyone enjoys the experience together. In a land of myth and a time of magic, the destiny of a great kingdom rests on the shoulders of a young boy. His name...
even though at that time, that country law is that if you practice magic, you'll be dead, executed. Understand? Yes, so he has, to, he has to hide his talent while having to help the kingdom and the prince and the king at the same time. person I feel safe with. And this Malin was one of your brothers, reincarnated. Wow. Hi, <laughs> Oh, wow. Therefore, I want you to watch it. Right? Wow. Thank you, wow. Master. You know who the prince is? <laughs> it's a very long series, so you can watch it whenever we can. This is the main character. I like no him, young the man, no matter how it great, very well. can know his destiny. He cannot glimpse his part in the great story that is about to unfold. Like everyone. He must live and learn. And so it will be for the young warlock arriving at the gates of Camelot. A boy that will in time father a legend. His name. Everything's in place. But it's too late. Gaius has already left the dungeons. Then... Then we'll have to delay the execution. How? Arthur. I'll speak to Arthur. No. Leave Arthur to me.
reincarnated. That um, our initiate is a doctor. Very good one. My father's already passed sentence. There's nothing I can do. You can do the right thing, Arthur Pendragon. You can show some faith in a loyal friend, or you can stand by and watch an innocent man die. Guinevere. You did it once before to my father. Are you really willing to let it happen again? And you can stop looking at me like that. I know I'm only a servant. I thought this you were was a prince, stop behaving like what? Arthur Pendragon, a great destiny awaits you. The battle for your soul is about to begin. Arise, survival, knight. That's the initiative. The court great honor. That's how I can tell you. If I'm to face you in combat, do me the courtesy of revealing your identity. My name is Morgoth. Also, this one has a lot of um, moral, you know, high moral standard. Also, bad evil, I want you to look there. This film, yeah? They really do research with, with the psychic, and they really consult history, historical people who are descendant of, a descendant, descendant. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's almost like real things, yeah? Also, I, okay. want, I like the actors. They have charisma, yeah? I wanted to introduce myself. I'm the Lady Morgana. I know who you are. This woman, she reincarnated. She helped me a lot. Not with her, but with bad energy, you know? Inside, inside her. Understand? In the heart of my work. Okay, okay. Challenge. Challenge. It doesn't I didn't want say. Us to watch I gave him my speak. word that I would accept it no matter what. You should never have made such a promise. Uh, I have no idea what she might ask of you. She had a sword to my chest. I had no choice. Morgo said that she knew it's my sad, mother. Sad story, I mean. He worried. He told you worry for me. He's a past life. Oh, okay? she's his life. No problem. We just watch a little bit. Ah, oh, we still have some of this. Can you still tolerate? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that kind of guy. <laughs> okay, okay. No trouble. So good again. Yeah. From Italy, you know, right? Yeah. yeah. Further now. in the forest of Brekva. Find a fork on the north ridge.
is the second part of the game, so I let her out. Not I let her, heaven told me. She, she must oh, go, God. otherwise it's very bad for my safety. Concerning my safety. Oh, I really cry because I don't want, I don't want her to go. They were fortunate to make an attack on Peaks before your yeah. king declared war on Nobody the Nobody had to guard the... the okay. They did have planted this cruelty. No, right? No. No. <laughs> Just Bad. enjoy it. Thank you, best. Someday <laughs> even God has a rest. You <laughs> see? <laughs> How about us? <laughs> you know the secret of not having enough food? Well, what good is it? What good is it? That's good. <laughs> What's the matter? It's the crystal. It harbors a terrible power, guys. And it's locked away now. It can do no harm. Unless the damage has already been done. I held it. I knew I shouldn't. I knew no good would come of it, but it compelled me to look. I couldn't resist it. I saw things. Terrible things. Then you've already paid the price. But what I saw has not yet come to pass, and I'm scared, guys. I'm really scared of what the future may hold. There is nothing on this earth can know all possible futures. Even the crystal. But what I saw it was so real. It was real, but it was just one reality. The future is as yet unshaped. It is we that shape it. It is you, Merlin. The decisions you make, the actions you take. Remember that. Eat your soup before it gets cold. Every time I see it, it looks new to me. <laughs> a young boy. Let's enjoy what you like. Yeah. You really didn't know? In your private time? I do. Oh, wow, you're great. <laughs> <laughs> you cheat. <did. laughs> yes. You saw them all? No, just a few episodes of them. <laughs> All right, guys, this is going to wake you. It can witch it there. Guys! Guys? Try this. Ixe bebeo theak thunus. Well, maybe not. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. I, like this I need so you to wake yeah, up. It's not as serious. <laughs> really need you. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there we go. Even in just a dead It's there. <laughs> <laughs> Merlin, mm. come quickly. You have to help me. Please. It is one thing to cast a spell that puts everyone to sleep. The power to maintain it is a very different matter. It will need more than just words to break this Why? enchantment. Why don't you just come to me? I don't need to cast any spell. Everybody sleeps everywhere in my <laughs> <laughs> Such spells will need a vessel to cast the living <laughs> The source of this pestilence is the witch, the Lady Morgana.
collection they make only oh. like uh, 100 or something wow. I don't remember two, 200 300 and I'm I think I'm 80 wow. yeah. wow. I sold it afterwards it's too bumpy probably <laughs> 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 because it's cheap you yeah? know it's very beautiful but it's cheaper than many modern car yeah. just very bumpy but I really love the sky oh my god you can see even on the pipe uh, hanging outside, eh? mm -hmm. on the long side of the car, very sleek but beautiful. Mm -hmm. The design is beautiful. And they have this, a sword of Excalibur as a, <laughs> uh, as a symbol in front. I didn't know it until now why I love that car. <laughs> <laughs> I love that car so much and whenever I drive it to go out, you know, all the police pretend to stop my car and just take a picture. You know? <laughs> Because it's rare, you don't see that car. You might see Mercedes, Rolls Royce, and Porsche, but you don't see that car on the street. Not that often, you know. Yes, that's it's in somewhere in, in near Miami. Yeah, I don't even remember where to buy it. It was a beautiful car. It's, it's uh, they made it many similar style, but that car, for all I've seen, all the other style, that the best looking car of that kind, yeah. Yeah, I would buy it again if I had it, you know, just to put it here, which is so beautiful. I love that car. I love it more than any other car that even expensive or new, you know, but it doesn't ride, drive very well. The first time I drive it, it stopped right in the middle of the highway. <laughs> because they didn't, uh, they didn't do it well, you know, they have the benzene uh, clock, but it didn't work and I didn't know that. It's, it's second hand, you know, it's not uh, brand new, of course, no? And then it stopped because I didn't know the petrol rush. <laughs> because the clock didn't work, you know. Oh, I, right in the middle, I thought, oh, I still have it. <laughs> oh, thank God. I, thank God I can crawl all the way to the, a little bit to the side, you know, otherwise I wouldn't be sitting here. Yeah. 
that Excalibur wanted to terminate me <laughs> instead of somebody else. <laughs> Come on, Marlon. You're ready. No thanks to you. You okay? It's just a scratch. <laughs> Are you really going to face this dragon with me? I'm not going to sit here and watch. I know it's hard for you to understand how I feel, but... Well, I care a hell of a lot about that armor. I'm not going to let you mess it up. that you and Kilgara share. For your soul and his are brothers. When you speak to him as kin, he must obey your will. years since Master watched this series. There have been many stories, films, and other media made regarding the legendary King Arthur of Camelot, but Master just watched this one. Master said that, quote, they chose the actors most resembling the real-life characters of the past, and the stories in the film are the most complete, unquote. Truly remarkable. You know him. Mr. Say deserves our gratitude.
Although Master only shared a few details here, during some private moments with Supreme Master television staff, Master revealed additional insights into other characters from yeah. the Merlin series who have reincarnated as her disciples. The staff all agreed that many of the qualities and characteristics of the individuals in the Merlin series are very similar to their real, actual incarnations in this life, though in different ways. This table belonged to the ancient kings of Camelot. A round table afforded no one man more importance than any other. They believed in equality in all things. So it seems fitting that we revive this tradition now. Without each of you, we would not be here. We were astounded to see and perceive the resemblance of some features and or characters, and although seemingly in different circumstances, their positions, actions, and reactions are still mostly very similar to that of their past life as recorded in history. Master was very impressed and praised all involved in the making of this TV series, including the actors, directors, and especially the scriptwriters, who had very good intuition and deep insight. Quote, Otherwise, how would they show at the very end that Merlin came back in this modern time, as he in reality did? Unquote. Peace at last. Come on. We have to make it to the lake. Well, and without the horses, we can't. It's too late. It's too late. We will match you. I'll save my life. I can't. I'm not going to lose you. Just, just, just hold me. Please. There's, there's something I want to say. You're not going to say goodbye. No. Well, everything you've done. Master was often very emotional while watching history unfold through the series and cried many times. During the poignant moment of King Arthur's death, Master was shedding tears, saying, quote, Why must it be him, Merlin, Dai Tu Hua, this time? Unquote. Merlin, there is nothing you can do. I failed. No, young warlock, for all that you have dreamt of building has come to pass. I can't 
loser! He's my friend! No, no man, no matter how great, can know his destiny. Some lives have been foretold, Merlin. Arthur is not just a king. He is the once and future king. Take heart, for when Albion's need is greatest, Arthur will rise again. It has been a privilege to have known you, young Warrock. The story we have been a part of will live long in the minds of men. Master Tyrrelly commented, quote, No one has ever told me that Hua has done so much behind the scenes. He never told me either, although I did know he was very supportive and enthusiastic about my mission. But this is typical of a true spiritual practitioner. They normally work quietly, and their work is only known to some around them, unless these close friends share some of them with others. They are noble and selfless. They are not for profit or glory but heaven will glorify them. What else to expect from such a loyal magician? He waved his magic wand again in different ways this life and truly helped building a kingdom, a different kind of kingdom." Unquote. everyone who contributed to this TV series, as well as BBC for the high-class production. We also would like to thank other media outlets to which Merlin is still available to watch, such as Netflix, YouTube, iTunes, Amazon Video, Google Play and Hulu. Our deepest gratefulness to Supreme Master Ching Hai for allowing us to air this fascinating revelation about the late magician Tai Du Hua. Our sincere appreciation also to Tai Tu Hua for your profound and touching example of loyalty and devotion to Master, which not only inspires us, but is also refreshingly uplifting. Thank heaven for the blessing of your many beautiful existences on earth. Pressed for Tai Tu Hua's other incarnations, Master revealed that, quote, Tai Tu Hua was once in Tibet as Milarepa, unquote, but she refused to, quote, dwell further into the bygone past." Unquote. She just added that, quote, he has lived 72 lives on earth to date. Unquote. Tai Tu Hua, may you forever bathe in God's love and grace in your glorious spiritual realm. Thank you for watching the conclusion of Secret Revelations on Master's Legendary Magician, a tribute to Tai Du Hua on Supreme Master Television. May your life be blessed with beauty in heaven's illuminating light and love. So long for now. Thank you.
For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash CTAW.